Hello everyone, my name is Derek and welcome to Gear on the Go. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Air Travel Kit 2 in detail, go over its features and design, show what could fit inside, and ultimately see if it's a good fit for you. If you're new here, I'm a frequent traveler and I like making product reviews on products like this that made a positive impact on my travel experience. Let's take a closer look at the Air Travel Kit 2. As we initially look at the Air Travel Kit 2, you'll see Air's signature look, black ballistic nylon with a YKK AquaGuard zipper here across the front. Specifically, this is a 1680D Cordura ballistic nylon. You'll see quite a bit of texture here. It's available in two different colors, green, which is also in 1680D, or it's available in gray, which is 700D. The Air Travel Kit 2 is also available on an X-Pack material, which would look something like this. Is that X-Pack material look for you? Compared to the Ballistic Nylon, just so you can see the difference. As for the size of the Air Travel Kit 2, it's 9 inches long, 6.5 inches wide, and about 3 inches deep. It's rated to have a two and a half liter capacity. The version I have here is over two years old and there have been a few slight updates. Namely, on the front pouch, instead of this standard AquaGuard zipper, they've updated it to be this YKK lockable zipper, which will not open unless you flip it up and pull it down, similar to what you'd find on a pair of jeans. Additionally, on the back of the pouch, they no longer have this loop. It's actually a Hypalon tab. So it looks something like this. You just see this tab here. It's a little bit more grip, a little bit more discreet as well. So if you want to look at the exterior features of the pouch, on the very top, there's this nice nylon grab handle. Very easy to slide your hand in, grab this out of your backpack or suitcase. On the front, there's Air's signature AquaGuard YKK zipper. Specifically, this one is a number eight racket coil zipper. On the side of the pouch, there's this toothbrush holder. And what this does is if you have a regular toothbrush, you slide this into the pocket, put this upright on the counter, and that way the head of your toothbrush isn't making contact with anything on the counter. On the back, there's this little hidden pocket open up like so. It's a pretty flat pocket. You can put more flat items in here. Um, I typically just put wipes in here. Just an additional place to store some items. As far as the main compartment zippers, again, they're number eight YKK racket coil zippers, and there's two of them. That way you can put this on either side of the pouch you like. An additional thing to note is Air has their classic jangle. So as you shake the zippers, it does make a little bit of noise. Not a big deal with a pouch like this since it's gonna be in a bag anyway, but just something to know. As you look into the interior of the Air Travel Kit 2, we're greeted by this gray nylon material with black accenting pockets and hardware. If you get the X-Pack variant, it's gonna be this bright orange with black accents. Up note, according to Air, the interior liner is treated with an antimicrobial coating to control bacterial odors and growth. This feature allows for peace of mind since we store items inside that could have bacteria and water on them, like a toothbrush or a razor. All right, at this point, I wanted to go over some of the interior features. So if we go from the top down, up here we do have this hook. This is a plastic hook, also made by YKK. This is used to hang up your Air Travel Kit 2 on a hook if you don't have any counter space available. Right below the hook, there's this mesh pocket again with another small YKK zipper. It's a mesh pocket. So look into the main area here. This is where you keep your shampoo bottles and et cetera. So if you open it up, you can see there's some elastic loops inside to have a little bit of stretch. This can help keep your items secure. I personally don't use them, but they're there if you like. 
Additionally, there's a zipper pocket right here. Another small YKK zipper. This is great for keeping smaller items separated. I personally use this for these little dental flossers. You can also put a pair of no clippers or anything else that's really flat and small and you don't want bouncing around your bag. On the bottom, there's this additional sleeve here as well as two elastic loops. What this is for is to protect like the head of your toothbrush, you slide it through your elastic loop, and this will protect it from coming into contact with like your shampoo, your deodorant, etc. So an additional use for this protective sleeve is if you wanted to protect your razor blade, you could put this through and secure the handle by bringing the elastic over the handle. Now your razor blade and toothbrush are protected. Okay, I wanted to take this time to go over what I personally store in the air travel kit too. Uh, so in the very front pocket here, again, has that YKK zipper. I also have a couple of clear plastic bags just in case TSA needs me to put stuff away separately. And I do have a couple of just Clorox wet wipes. Nothing else in there. In the back compartment, I also have a couple of more wipes. Okay, in the main compartment, in this top section here, again, just a few more wipes here. I have a human gear go tub. This is, has some lotion in it. Travel size toothpaste. Some deodorant. You know what this is. When you need it, you need it. And I have the Human Gear Go To Plus bottles here. This has my shampoo and body wash. Okay, there's those elastic loops. I just don't personally use them for my stuff, but you can if you'd like. In the zipper compartment here, I have some of these dental flossers. Then in this section, I just have a comb. Even though there is room for a toothbrush in here, and these elastic loops, I carry this electric toothbrush, it's pretty bulky. It has its own travel case, so I just keep this separate in whatever bag I'm taking with me. Overall, this is a very high quality pouch I've been using on my trips for the past two and a half years. It's a very versatile toiletry kit or dop kit, whichever one you like to call it, that holds all the items I need while I'm on my trip. It's versatile and slim enough to fit into whichever bag I like to take with me on my trips, whether it be a suitcase, a duffel bag, or a travel backpack. Personally, I haven't noticed any wear and tear with this, except for a couple of stains on there, but that's entirely my fault just from using the product. As for the pros of the Adopt Kit, I do enjoy the form factor and size. It's able to fit into whichever bag I'm using. It fits everything I need and keeps everything organized. And then the premium materials and build quality are top notch. 
As for the cons, the only thing I could find is the size. Um, I feel like if you take more things with you than I do, you might want to look into a bigger bag that's more than two and a half liters in capacity. If you found value in this video, if you could do me a favor and hit the like button, I would really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to my channel if you enjoy product reviews on travel products. Thank you so much for your time. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.